Hey guys, this is I Like Doom, and this is my this is at my second pickups video. Uh, there'll be no no music this time because I haven't stopped at selling tales, and I was going to wait till the twenty first like I did last time, but I had we had the townwide yard sale day, and I got a few good things. And also, I recently got up to five hundred games. I think it's five hundred and three now. So a lot of these games are crap. All the hold on. Two of the handheld games suck, and uh, two of them are average. Uh, but the rest of it's pretty good. All these games except two came from the Dragon's Lair. Alright, anyway, we'll start with books. I've got a whole one. I got The Godfather, 25 cents. I think it's a first edition. Anyway, whoops. That was at a yard sale. A dollar for Order of the Phoenix. Again, I'm, I'm trying to collect all the Harry Potter movies. Eh. I only have, like, the worst two. I think this and Goblet of Fire regarded as the worst two. So, anyway, now this is what you all came here for. Games. We'll start with a game from the Dragon's Lair called Surround. It's an Atari game. It's, uh, it's like Snafu on uh, the Intellivision. I can't think of anything. It's like the light cycles in Tron, basically. That's a movie I should get. I've never seen any of those. Plus the thing to I've got, I've got, I've listened to the uh, Daft Punk Tron album, if that counts for anything. Onto the Nintendo 64, this is probably the best game out of the lot I got. Problem is, I don't have the expansion pack for the N64. A lot, I bet well, at least one person knows what game I'm talking about. Donkey Kong 64, I put a little top label on it. My handwriting is impossible to read. Yeah. I completely forgot I don't have the expansion pack, so now I'm on the hunt for that. I accept donations. I really need to set up a PayPal, though. Yeah, I, this is the one of the first Nintendo 64 games I ever played. The first I know was either Cool Borders 2, Benjo Kazooie or Tooie, Super Smash Bros., Ocarina of Time, or Super Mario 64. But yeah, I, I remember I would always play this game with my friend Zach Houston. I played it at my Aunt Joan's house. Not really my aunt. We're one of those families that call everyone who's a real close family friend an aunt or an uncle. Alright, anyway, on to the crap games. On the Game Boy Color, I got Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX. It's a lot like one of the next games coming up. Except this doesn't have Spider-Man in it, like I think the second game, not the third one had. In the series I'm coming up. It's coming up next. Yeah, average. Oh, average for... Game Boy Color, which isn't saying much. Game Boy Color racing game. Tony, I got Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 on the Game Boy Advance. Again, this was just to pad out the numbers so I get the 500 games by my May 1st goal. Yeah, I think I remember either one or two if Tony Hawk Pro Skater had Spider Man. I remember my friend Nick in like fourth grade, he had smuggled his DS to a recess and he was playing a Spider-Man. Yeah. I honestly prefer the console versions. Underground 2 for the win. That is my favorite Tony Hawk game of all time. I think the only game I played more with my friend Nolan was Star Wars Battlefront. But we played the shit out of that and Tony Hawk Underground 2 until my mother took it away. Because in the intro cinematic a guy pissed his pants right as she walked in. Alright. On to the average. I'm not saying these are good, but they're better than those two. First, we have Road Rash Jailbreak. Alright. I honestly prefer the original Road Rash. But, yeah, this is alright. I, re I really need Road Rash, though. Isn't that like on Sega CD? Alright, anyway. Spyro Season of Ice. I always... I liked Spyro the Beginning, so I thought it'd be like that. But no, it's like... Rayman Hulon's Revenge, which is pretty nostalgic to me. I, the only reason I really remember that game is because I beat it during Hurricane Sandy. Our power went out, so I sat out on the porch from 10 to noon and beat it. I got stuck on like the swamp level where you had to drive around the boat when I was like 6. And I didn't touch it until then. And I beat it during Hurricane Sandy. Alright, now on to the PS1 before we go on to updates, which I think I forgot to mention. Uh, this was my yard sale finds. All those except the... The DVD and the book were from the Dragon's Lair. I take sponsorships 
Wink, wink, Tom. Wink, wink, Gable. Wink, wink, try and convince him, Bobby, because you're just the manager. I got Cool Borders 3 at a yard sale for, I think, a dollar. I heard good things about the Cool Borders series. I'm not sure which one. I always like these kind of sports games, so. But what the fuck? And the last game, and probably my second favorite out of the lot, was Looney Tunes Sheep Raider. I think either PBG or Pro Jared or someone like that talked about it. And I've wanted this game since. And I got it for $2. It looks really fun. It kind of reminds me of uh, Donald Duck going quackers, except it's got more of like a stealth element. I think it was Cat, Cat Icarus who talked about it in this game. Alright, anyway, now on to the update section. This is probably where most of you shut it off. Anyway, yeah, you've noticed I've d done a whole four vid five videos with my capture card. Yeah, that's because the red audio port stopped working, and I f figured out... I found out uh, on Friday that you can plug uh, plug just the white audio cable in and it'll work fine. So that's what I'm just going to do. I mean, you heard how crackly it is. It sucked. Yeah, I'm just going to do that and I'll continue with Luigi's Mansion tomorrow. Actually, no. I'll save that to Throwback Thursday. I'm going to make you feel a little old for this, but I only do, for Throwback Thursday, I do consoles that were made uh, before I was born, which is anything... Before the GameCube. GameCube and afterwards, I think, were before I was born. A lot of you are really feeling old, aren't you? Even if it isn't, I'm just going to count because the console generation was in. It was started in 1999 with the Dreamcast, which was well before I was born. Uh, yeah, I'll wait anything from that generation back until uh, the next generation will be considered classic. A lot of you are feeling old now. Well, actually, not a lot of you. Most of you are my age. All right. Anyway, this is I Like Doom signing off. Like, comment, and subscribe.